and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you to my wild backyard on this beautiful, partly cloudy day where I am thankful as can be. The plants have gone a tad bit crazy, y'all. Yeah, it's interesting what things have done while we've been in the hospital with Junior. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the staghorn sumac. Yes, I know a lot of people are paranoid about this plant. It's not poisonous, not whatsoever. So quit believing those lies. It is a very important plant to the Cherokee as well as a medicinal plant and culinary plant. Now, what happened was, hold on. What happened was, I had moved the mother plant back before we went ended up in the hospital the first time and I didn't know that a massive tap root had uh, grown out of the bottom of the pot and it broke off when I moved the plant. The mother plant is perfectly fine, healthy, in great shape. This is what I have been blessed with off of the mother plant. A whole bunch of baby sumacs are coming up from the broke off root. So I'm going to try to pull most of this root up. I'm going to leave a bunch of it in the ground in hopes of more sumacs coming up. Now, they have roots, and I have a small bucket of water over here. Now, you see, there's little sumacs coming up. So what I'm going to do, I have a bucket of water now rainwater, definitely use good water. I'm going to snip these. I'm going to put this one in a different container of water later on. And each one of these will grow roots, more roots than it already has. And I'll have even more sumac plants. I'm just trimming the bottom leaves because you don't want any leaves in your water. All right, I'm just going to plop that in the bucket. And here's another one here. I'm going to take this one off because I only want to keep one plant per root section. Get any grass out of the roots. And see, it already has, well, it's got some rope around it. Good grief. I got to cut that rope off because it'll end up eventually strangling the plant. Don't know what where the rope came from, but it's it's there. Good grief. This just shows you the willpower of plants to grow. I'm gonna set that rope right there. I'm gonna get all of it off. But you see how it has grown through the rope. So, in the bucket of water, that one goes. Now, this one is going to be interesting. I'm going to put this other root section in the water, see if anything comes up. I 
I'm going to see. If I lose a plant, it was a gift blessing to begin with. Still has roots on it, so I'm a hoping it's going to make it. If it don't, it just don't. Y'all will know. I'll bring you back once they root real good. I'm going to die laughing all these make it. And I'm just going to leave them in the water until they make bigger uh, root systems. Well, that one broke off, but there's just enough base there with the root. It hopefully will take off. I got to get them out of this bright sunlight here soon, too. And there's a really weak one right here. I'm liable to have more come up. What did I do with my snippers? Here they are. I hit them for myself. Good grief. And we're just going to... I'm going to leave that base on there. So there's plenty of room for more roots to grow. And this poor one needs to grow straight. Now, when I get done with these, I am going to put them in the shade so they can recoup. Now I've got one coming up here. I don't remember the mother plant being over here, but I'm going to see. If I can get. Some of this. Root base up. There we go. I did. I did. Look see. I got some of the root base with it. I'm going to get a bunch of these bottom. Leaves off. I'm going to move y'all over here so you can see what I'm doing. Now, granted, they're going to wilt quite a bit because you know, they've been snagged out of the ground. But once they get in the shade, they should be fine. I want to make sure that rootstock is down in the water. And then I have one more over here. To dig up there'll probably be more that pop up because there's still more of that root in the ground i was going to try to weed eat over here yesterday and i saw them and i'm like well good gracious where did they come from And see, look at that pretty root stock. Or root base is what I call it. And I lost count how many there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with a possible ten. I'm going to get them over in the shade. But I wanted to bring y'all along for that. Uh-oh. See that one? Yep. Here's another one. Oh, no. I snapped it off. I just leave the root still in the ground. Well, I would have had 11. But I'm going to leave the root in the ground. Uh, and come back later. Keep an eye on them. 
and see how many more I get. I laughed because I was going to try to weed eat through here and then I saw those and I'm like, well, not going to be weed eating through here just yet. So I have rescued those. I'm fixing to get them to the shade and then I will bring y'all back once they get good and rooted. Now, like I always say, there's a possibility they won't live, but there's a good possibility they will. I'm willing to take the chance. Now, once they get good and rooted, I'll bring y'all back for the, the planting them up. So, y'all take care. Stay safe and sound out there in this crazy world. Because it's getting worse as the day goes by. Continue to stock your pantries with food that will nourish and heal you. Also, foods, which sumac is, is uh, can be made into what's called Indian lemonade. Or also a very important Middle East seasoning known as the tar. So, yeah. You want to have spices saved up because bland food is not going to be very good after a while. And plus put back supplies of herbs and everything for seasoning. Medicinals that will heal you. Staghorn sumac is also medicinal. Excellent tea for... Um, UTIs, cleaning your kidneys out, and other medicinal benefits. Also, protection of all kinds, as well as the bare necessities to survive on. Like on Earth, I got all kinds of stuff on me. Y'all stay safe and sound. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. The hawks are flying over. That's what the, the hawks are flying over. That's what the, sh the shade that's coming through. Everyone, take care. Stay safe and sound and sane. And may you each be blessed. I'll see you soon. Hoot hoot.